According to the CDC, one of the leading causes of death in the United States is suicide. The National Alliance on Mental Illness in Lynn County, or NAMI, is taking part in a fundraiser for suicide prevention. It's called Wish You Were Here. And joining me now is Dr. Mona McCauley Witters, who is volunteering at the event. So tell us, where will it take place? So it's on September 23rd from 11 to 4 in Ely, Iowa. It's at the House Divided, which is a brewery across from the library. We'll have staff people there, and together with the House Divided Brewery, we'll be championing the cause of mental health, in particular to support, educate, and raise awareness about suicide prevention. Awesome, and I understand this is the second year for the event, so how did it go off last year? So we had a really great event. We ran it all day, and a lot of people stopped by. This year, it's going to occur during the fall festival. So there'll be many family-friendly activities, and you can come by, have conversations, learn some of the warning signs, and really uh, ways to prevent this tragic loss of life. And I know NAMI Lynn County offers several resources when it comes to mental illness, and that includes family to family classes, and it sounds like there's one coming up here. That's right, Kristen, spot on to you. So starting on September 11th, which is a Monday, for eight consecutive Mondays at six o'clock, you can either in our downtown office attend in person, or we also have an online option. This is a program that's taught by leaders. It's geared towards family members that have an adult living with mental illness. You need to pre-register and you can do that on our web page or call our phone. That's 319-221-1184. And in this class, you'll learn really good communication techniques, ways to cope, and kind of develop confidence and stamina to help your adult loved one deal with mental illness. Yeah, such a tough topic. What it other is. resources are out there in the community? So during September, there'll be different uh, local events, uh, the Hope Walk and some other kind of community rallies to really bring light on suicide prevention. Too often it kind of remains in the shadows and it's a difficult topic for some people. I myself have lost someone recently due to death by suicide. So it's especially, um, impactful and tragic and I'm still dealing with the aftermath of that. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Dr. McCauley Witters, thank you so much for joining us. And for anyone in crisis, there is always help. People can call the National Crisis Lifeline at 988. That connects callers to local people who can offer support and understanding. Stay with TV9.